All right, uh, greetings to me, Bomani Tamba here with uh, journalist Brianna. And uh, we are ready to give you another incredible session and update as we connect you with a wonderful 2019 year of return, basically encouraging our people to literally return and invest and repatriate into the African continent, especially the country that uh, we're pushing, uh, Ghana, where we have this incredible African diaspora community that we're just working everything out and getting it in place called Garvey Town, which is a beautiful partnership between Africa for Africans, uh, tourism investment, and uh, the uh, Garvey Town uh, company uh, slash uh, community. Mm -hmm. So Ray, um, one, one of my first questions is if you could just kind of elaborate on what Garvey Town is. I understand it's about 300 acres of land um, and it's gonna be a community. So tell me what you're gonna have involved in there, hospitals, schools, whatever, and how people are able to move in. Uh, yes, uh, exactly. Uh, the uh, Garvey Town community uh, right now, it is uh, 300 uh, acres of land and we're building the, um, the clarity of all the legal paperwork and everything. And what I've done so far um, is put uh, the information on our website, africafedafricans.org. And once you get to the main menu of the website, you'll see our uh, Garvey Town community and you click on the link and then we have literally just a list of things are broken down uh, as far as the actual community itself and information. Uh, so what, what I'm doing right now is sharing the video, which uh, one video we have is a video at the last uh, Ghana Repatriation and Investment Conference, uh, which was on uh, November of uh, 2018. And Gary Dino, which is the uh, project developer or project manager, gave an overview of that. So it's things like that they have there. And also another video we recorded is a video of uh, Garadina driving us to the property, uh, Garvey Town. And um, it's, you know, most of what you're going to see is land because it's in its raw state. And it's basically a community that we're literally developing as a co-op to where you can get you know, a plot of land, a 70 by 100 uh, uh, foot uh, for $640 uh, plus uh, the uh, processing uh, uh, fee. Uh, yeah, so the goal is the number one, you know, give it, get it, uh, things set up to where we can offer our people opportunity for, for getting access to land in a simpler way, in a system of what you call more of a co-op versus someone that's going out there getting their own land, having to get their land survey and deed and everything. Uh, everything that they're doing is part of a community. And what that does, it makes it cheaper to repatriate, but also it gives you more of the full base of a community support. And then at the same time, to everything in the community that's going to be developed is going to be developed by the members of the community. So even when we're talking about the technical schools or the factories or the business, we're the ones there running it and doing it. And then at the same time, too, we're teaching our children. So the concept of uh, Garvey Town links with Marcus Garvey, who pushed uh, uh, nation building to the highest level in a way of talking about self-determination uh, and self-reliance, uh, using all the concept of everything in us to develop and do things for ourselves. And it's kind of what I talked about uh, another time where, you know, when we live in America, everything is let it be quote unquote provided for you. And then the only thing that you can contribute is you go to that job and work for the boss and get that money and give back to the system. And you know, so in essence, you know, it's a nice, smooth, organized, modern day slave plantation system. Mm -hmm. And the difference is, you know, those of us who are building business in that community and working together, it's for us, it's for our children. The, every, you know, from the water supply that we'll share uh, and we'll develop to where we can, you know, make it as efficient to where we're drinking, quote unquote, clean, natural water versus quote unquote, what they have here, toilet water. I think that's what most of us call it. <laughs> or, or, you know, sewage or swamp water. Uh, you know, so even though things are given to you in the, the, that system that we live in in America, it's not given in its truest form. You're given an education system that teach you or gets you ready for the prison pipeline plantation system. Uh, another way of this, uh, you know, reverting back to, to slavery and taking away people's rights out of, you know, by, you know, and saving them in prison. Uh, so, you know, you're putting yourself in a situation where 
you, you're building a community where it's giving you the maximum amount of freedom, where you have your own independent town, where you have what you need, where if your son wants to be you know, a technician, they're getting trained by people like my, myself, Omani Tamba, who has been in the technical field since I was a teenager, 13 to now, and all the things that I've learned and I've designed and, and used in our business, they'll be able to learn those things at the highest level versus being killed with theory and killed with uh, book work and just so they can, you know, these folks and sell book and put, you know, get the other people involved and, and split the money because that's exactly what it is. It's, you know, it's a pimp system where, you know, the pimps are splitting the money against himself and his process to anybody else. Uh, so um, that's the best thing people like myself would come up with. And I tell people that it's not for everyone. Uh, some people are going to get their own land and go do their own thing just because the fact that, you know, maybe they don't necessarily want to get up every day and focus on being a part of a community. Some people just want to do their own thing and they have that right to do that in Ghana. But this connection into Ghana and repatriation, it creates an incredible amount of opportunity for those of us who are retiring, those of us who are looking to build future careers, because now some of us may think, well, instead of embodying myself into the system after university, maybe I'll just build an operation there in Ghana, and 10, 20 years from now, it'll, you know, it'll be something that I'll be able to build that I wouldn't be able to build there because I'll be regulated and being controlled by how the system works as far as, you know, what you have to do to move up and get leverage. So I'm wondering, um, just as far as how the community is going to function, is there kind of a system of governing that you're going to implement? Is there, are there going to be elders leading it? How does that, how do the rules work and how, who's going to be enforcing them? Absolutely. Uh, what you have is uh, we have affiliated members, people who want to be part of the leadership of the, the community. And then you have, um, Council of Elders, uh, so and then you have the, the main people that are the administrative and the organizer of the community. But naturally, once you get enough people, and then that's when you're, you know, you are coming together and see, you know, see who we're gonna have as a, you know, leadership core and who's gonna be um, the Council of Elders. So it's something that the community itself will vote on and decide. And okay. Not, not okay. Us right now, it's a few of us that just bought plots. Eight of us from our group. That traveled uh, in November last year, and then we have a few people on standby. And right now, I'm doing all the paperwork and getting things in place. And I've sent over it along with their money to get their uh, plot process. So next thing we're looking to do is use the first block of what we're looking to build as this a demonstration by just getting things going and then sharing that with everyone else, so people can see progress of how things work out. Because when you're looking at this process, it's like so much levels to it. It's just and it takes, you know, and it, and it's, it takes years to look at the whole thing from one end to the other end. Like I've been traveling to Ghana for maybe 12 straight years, trying to get all of this worked out. And this is the first time where I've actually got a true community. And, you know, we have had the lawyers sit down with the ownership of uh, Garvey Town and our representative and they worked out the paperwork. They have signed agreements and we have, you know, we're getting the, the chief and the ownership of the land involved. That way everything is clear and we have an equal agreement that we can build as a community. Uh, so all of those things that are what we have made progress on, but I just really started working with, working with this community for the last few months. After the years and years of going to connecting with different communities and it's not working out. And one of the most popular ones is a community called Fianca, which still exists and people are still trying to make it work. But um, I feel great about this because it has all the, the rules in place, you know, membership rules, uh, you have you know, business opportunities uh, laid out, and these are things that uh, we have on the uh, Garvey Town link on the website, uh, vision, uh, Q&A, um, the buyer settlement uh, share agreement, um, you know, we're talking about when you invest in Garvey Town, you, it's like, you know, you're investing in ownership of that community. Um, and so just as far as logistics, so it's 300 acres, how many um, houses, I know there are different size houses people can get, but how many people would you say would eventually fit into this community? Now you're looking at, um, and we're you're looking at about 300, 300 plots. There is uh, 20, there's um, 15 blocks of uh, 20 plots. Uh, so that's 300. Uh, so you're looking to have a house on every plot, 
um, and that's one person or that could be uh, one family so you look at, so at least uh, 300 people and then you're also looking to create a business district where the people that are part of the community they invest in you know the factories that's going to be built uh, the business office and certain things that we need as a people, you know, will be built there and and so on. And, you know, you're looking at 15 acres of farmland. So every single tropical fruit, vegetables, tree that you can think of, you know, it's literally there in Ghana. You can literally put in the property and organize it in a way where you have an incredible food bank to where now you have the factories and things that are small, small scale to where you can juice, can, and then you can also use it in a restaurant. Uh, for smoothies and for you know cooking and things like that, so it's you know it's, it's literally structured out to where, and that's based on the map that's hard to see in the background. But once you get to the website, you can see the map layout, and it, you know it's a base map. Um, we're going to work on another level of it uh, and show where even you have you know, additional space uh, for you know, you know for where you're going to hold uh, your education. You know, right now there's a school on there, but when you talk about technical school and higher level of education, you have enough space there to build up and expand. So that's the good thing about when you're looking to develop this kind of community and you have 300 acres. Um, a lot of times, you know, when you hear about these communities, it's a little bit less. Um, and it's also just two hours away from Accra and two hours away from Cape Coast, Elmina. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask, what is the Oh, I don't remember my question now. Wait, give me a second. Oh, yes. Um, so what timeline are we looking at right now? Because like you said, it's still raw land. But when do you expect things to start getting built? Uh, I'm looking at about um, this year. Uh, people already purchased their plots already. So uh, okay. I'm, not a, <laughs> I'm not into the politics. I'm trying to get folks to you know, get things flowing. That way we can get things moving because... You know, they don't like all the delays and everything and slow progress. I'm a person that, you know, that believe in a business administration taking care at the highest level and, and things get going. But uh, that's one of the issues. Uh, if I was there uh, more, you know, I would have a lot more things going. So, um, but a goal literally is to get a good, as, good aspects of things going this year, uh, especially with the development of the first block and put more and more things in place. So. Since I've connected uh, with them, I've been, you know, I've created a lot of the documentation. The videos is up. All of the, uh, the actual documents is on the site. Um, information is you know, spreading around the, the network, and I've shared it with certain people. So yeah, we've got a good uh, starting with it. And it's just based on uh, experience I've had with other projects um, that, uh, that didn't work out so good because, you know, you have a lot of other people that you have to deal with. And some of our people is just incompetent and they don't know how to run business operation. Just, just get right to the point of, and we say about it. It's going to be different. Well, that's why these communities are built, you know, developed there in Ghana. If you ask around, do you have a quote unquote like uh, African diaspora or a Pan African community or anything like that? They're going to say no. And if so, then, you know, people can show me. Uh, Fianca, as I mentioned, is one, but it's not organized like that because it's, you know, you know, once you get the land, you have to, build the structures and you have to get people there and you have to keep it active. So, you know, that energy, you know, people are there, but that energy is not flowing. So that's what you are, you know, you're looking to do. Okay. Got it. That was the last one for this session. Absolutely family. So family visit our website for all of these details uh, at Africa for the Africans.org. And you see all of the details from Garvey town to the tours on the main menu. And you see other links for further down. That connect you to Facebook and YouTube and so on. All right, so family, the journey continue, and you know, we will uh, reconnect with you on another uh, session as we continue on this incredible 2019 year of return to connect our people to nation building on the African continent.